we are looking at how to make a reading video that has a reading bopper longer for the kids to read with. And we're going to post this into Flipgrid eventually. So what we've done so far is taken an image of our page in Google Keep and we've extracted the text. So now we're in Google Doc, and I've, I'm going to put all of the readings in a single Google Doc. You could put them on separate ones, but this just seems easier. Now, you might have to uh, come to the very, very bottom. There's a tiny little arrow in the very bottom right. And if that's not um, showing that little light bulb, you're going to click on this little arrow, and the panel will come up, and you can click on Google Keep. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the very top, and I'm going to click on the search bar and I'm going to put some words that I know are in the title and just like that my document will come up. Now I could tap on here and have the whole thing picture and all go in but I actually just want the text and so it's just as easy for me to quickly copy this and I'm going to type in here uh, number 14 and then I'm going to hit paste and I'm going to make this text then um, as big as I can for this page. So I'm going to highlight it all. And then I want it all to fit on the page while I'm recording for the students. So I'm just going to make it that big. So that's nice to see. Now, we do have to make sure that the text is OK. Um, there seems to be something a little bit funny after Sam is in math and Sam is thin. So this is kind of nonsense. It doesn't belong here. Yeah, I should have checked that out before. But you do have to um, double check that everything came through. This is another word that we don't need. Good thing we caught that before we started. All right, so now I can make this a tiny bit bigger. I think these have been coming in at about 22 for most of the size of the readings for this particular document. All right, so I'm gonna close Google Keep now that I have my text in here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to come up to my uh, extension bar. I'm gonna click on the little purple puzzle piece that is read and write for Google Chrome. Now that drops that down and I still can see that all on my page. So I'm gonna uh, do some setting work. So I'm gonna come over to the three little dots on the toolbar for read and write. And I'm going to click on options. And you'll find that the voice speed is probably uh, about 50 or so. We're going to pull this almost to the end so that it goes slow enough for us to read along with it. And we want to pick, well, you can decide. I'm going to pick speech, speak on each word so that it's going to give a little light up on each word as opposed to each line. And I'm going to pick continuous reading. And right now, I don't need anything else. The voice doesn't matter because we're actually going to turn the volume off because we don't want to hear the voice being read by uh, UK Dan or American Ava. We're going to be the, the voice because that's what our students know. So I'm going to make sure that my volume is right off. So I've got my cursor right beside my front letter. And now well, I'm going to come up to my Screencastify extension. So I'm going to click on Screencastify. And you may choose to embed the webcam so that the students can see you. We'll turn it on for this one. And you probably want to press desktop. Um, browser tab would be OK for what we're doing because we're not going to move anywhere yet. Let's go back browser tab. I'm going to hit record. And so now here I am, and it's counting down. So now that we have Screencastify going, we're going to put our cursor right at the beginning of the text, and we're going to click on the play button, 
And then I'm going to read and try and keep pace with the little um, read along that's going on. So it's going to look like this. I am Nan. I am in math. Is Nan in math? Sam is not in math. And then I'm going to press stop up at the top. And that is my recording. So as soon as I do that, it's stopped here. I'm going to, I've stopped the read along. Now I'm going to actually press stop down in the corner, the very bottom left corner. I'm going to press the stop button. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to get a little pop up that shows that I'm done recording and it loads in Screencastify. And so I get a little video here. Now what I would do is it takes the title of the document that I'm in. So I'm going to call this title first thing I was companion reading number 14. And you can see that it's still coming along down at the bottom. You always want to turn the volume on just to check it out. I am Nan. I am in math. Is Nan in math? Sam is not in math. Sam is thin. Sam is not a ram. Is Sam thin? All right, so I'm just going to let that continue to load. Now up in the top right hand corner, uh, you'll see this little bar that says saving to drive and that's going to put this into an automatically created Screencastify folder in your Google Drive, which you can move around after that. The first thing I always do after I name my reading is I come to this little more and so the, then I have to wait but save. So one of the things you can do is you can also trim your video if you need to. You just pull back from the ends in the free version and you can trim the beginning and the end. So it's actually not a bad idea to leave a little bit of space. And if you um, want to have a little kind of space at the end to trim, it kind of makes it easier than trying to get just the right start and stop time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to publish to YouTube. And so I'm going to take this video. It's finished sharing up here. The blue bar is all the way across or the pink bar is done. So I'm going to click publish to YouTube. And I'm going to make this unlisted because that will just be for my class. I'm going to call it um, Redet Companion Reading Number 14. And we can write a description in here. I'm just going to leave that for right now. Um, and I'm going to press Upload. And so that's going to upload for me. So to get to your YouTube channel, you can just Google YouTube. I'm going to click on YouTube. I actually have this bookmarked, so I don't go through all these steps all the time, but that's what you would do. And then you click on your, uh, you can click on your face icon over here, or you can actually just um, click on the plus camera, but we already have the video uploaded. So I'm going to click on my channel because we've already sent the video to my channel. And so now I'm going to go to videos. And here you can see the Burdette companion reading video that's already up here. It says it's unlisted. And I'm just going to click on the edit pencil because I want to show us around in here a little bit. Um, one of the things that we can do is we can add a playlist. So what I would like to do, and I didn't do it yet, but I would put like make a title screen, companion reading number 14, companion reading number 13, companion reading number 12. I would save each of those as a JPEG. And then I would just click the plus and it's going to look for an image file that will sit on the front of my YouTube so that it's easy to identify if I'm coming from a list. So the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a playlist. So I'm gonna click on this little playlist button where it says select. I'm gonna click on there and I'm gonna say new playlist. And I'm gonna say companion reading. 
and I'm going to make it, if I want the whole world to see it, I'm going to make it public, but I can make this unlisted just like the videos inside of it will be. I'm going to create that. And so now this video is in a playlist and those will appear. If I put all my videos in there, they'll all appear in one nice neat pile. So I'm going to hit done. I'm going to copy the video link from here and I'm going to hit save. And that's going to publish it. I am going to click yes, it's made for kids. So for our final step, we're going to take our YouTube link and we're going to create a QR code. So I'm in my favorite QR code creator, uh, Kwa QR code. The reason I like that is because I don't have to download the QR code. It lets me just save the image right when I make it. So I'm going to come over to my video, which is still downloading, but that's okay because I can come to share if I need to get the address again. I'm going to just copy right here. So I've pressed copy, it's in my clipboard. I'm gonna come back to my QR code creator. I'm gonna paste that in. And I am going to use a static code because that's free. And I'm gonna click generate. And it Alice gives me this little pop-up that wants me to pay and I don't wanna pay. I've created thousands without paying. I'm gonna keep it that way. And so now what I'm gonna do is I could do lots of things. I could. Uh, just screen capture this and pop it right into my document, but I'm going to right click and I like this particular QR code creator because I can copy the image. I could also save all of these as well, but I'm just going to copy this because that's the quickest. You can choose what to do there and I'm going to come over to my companion reading document. And then I'm going to put my cursor up beside the 14 and I'm going to hit paste and that'll put the document in here and then I'm going to or the image and I'm also going to make it move over here I'm going to choose this middle icon so I can put it right on the edge and then that will take me to my video